this month was very stressful for me as I had my exams and because of this whole corona thing my last paper got postponed anyways let's start with today's video in today's video I want to give you an overview of the subject mechatronics and control techniques for production plants it's a very big and fancy name. One main point is that our batch of production system engineering course, which is PSC, is the last one as Erwe Teha Akhan has decided to replace our course PSC with NPE, which is Network Production Engineering. But there are a few subjects which are common for both PSC as well as NPE, and Mechatronics is one of them. First, I would like to suggest you to download the model handbook of the NPE course. The NPE course has three tracks. Three main tracks which are smart mobility, electric vehicle production and uh, additive manufacturing. I personally feel that it's a very good course and you should definitely check it out. Uh, I would also provide the link for downloading the model handbook in the description of this video. Now once you will open the model handbook and just scroll down to the mechatronic subject section and in that you can see the first lecture which is uh, introduction to mechatronics and control for production. Now as its name suggests, this was just an introductory lecture in which the professor gave us an overview of what you are going to uh, learn uh, in the upcoming lectures. The next lecture is uh, programmable logic control and motion control PLC and MC. In this lecture you learn about various concepts like uh, calculating the disjunctive normal form of a circuit which is made up of uh, simple gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate etc. The disjunctive normal form is of a circuit is nothing but uh, the boolean equation of the circuit and also you learn about using boolean theorems to solve a boolean equation to break down that boolean equation into simplified disjunctive normal form or the simpli or calculating the simplified boolean equation of a particular circuit apart from this you also learn about plc programming and how to build up a pro plc program using a ladder diagram or an instruction list next lecture is uh, information processing mechatronic system this lecture includes everything ranging from a uh, simple uh, conversion of number systems like hexadecimal number system to binary or octal number system to binary and then performing various uh, binary operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication etc. You also learn about programmer logic array programming. Now this programmer logic array PLA is something like that you are given a uh, simple problem. I don't know how to explain it but uh, or, uh, let's put it in this way. You have a machine tool and uh, your task is to de develop a condition model system for that particular machine tool. Now uh, the machine tool is usually a CNC machine tool and the condition monitoring system ensures its proper working. So by using PLA programmable logic array you need to develop a program for pro programmable logic circuits which will act as condition monitoring system for this machine tool. Apart from this you learn about a full adder, half adder and the use of full adder in an arithmetic logic unit for performing a bitwise addition. The lecture numerical control 1 is uh, related to NC programming. Uh, which I'm sure you might have learned in your batches as well. This lecture is just a revision of NC programming. One thing I remember about this is that in the exam you are provided with the G code table so you, you need not mug up that uh, because I had learned the entire G code table while I was in my bachelor's. Uh, after numerical control 1 you have numerical control 2 uh, which is interpolation. Uh, this lecture deals with the three types of interpolation which are performed by the machine too. They are like the linear interpolation, circle interpolation, polynomial interpolation. Uh, you don't go into the polynomial interpolation that deep uh, because it's quite difficult so you just have a theory related to it what I remember about this lecture is that uh, you need to calculate various numericals related to circular interpolation now uh, the circular interpolation is usually performed by the machine tool when it has to generate a curved contour like that of a quarter circle when the machine tool generates a curved contour uh, it uh, what it does is that it approximates that curve path into a number of straight lines and because of this approximation of the curve into a number of straight lines uh, various deviations are produced so you have a num numerical related to calculating the numerical value of that deviation apart from this uh, you also have to sometimes calculate the uh, time required by the machine tool to execute a particular block uh, this is uh, known as the block cycle time the next lecture is the position control of feed drives. The feed is the movement of the tool which is produced by the machine tool. So in a simple machine tool there can be three axes. So the machine tool is able to generate the feed in the x, y and z directions. So to control the position of these feed drives you need various control loop elements. Uh, so you will get an overview of the connection possibilities of these control loop elements and how to solve a particular circuit of the control loop elements and uh, generate a simplified form of it. You sometimes also have to calculate uh, the transfer function, the G of S uh, kind of thing of the entire control loop. There are a few more lectures remaining which I will be covering in the second part of this video. Uh, whichever keywords I have used to explain the topics of a particular lecture, you can search them on Google and if you still have any doubts, you can always uh, 
ask in the comment section or maybe you can dm me on instagram but i would suggest that don't overdo it because anyways you are going to learn those topics once you start your studies uh, at every time so see you next sunday then cheers